An Iraqi woman sits in a woman's prison awaiting execution for the deaths of three family members. She and her family say that she is innocent and that she was betrayed by her fiancé. Arwa Damon has more. We first met Samar Saad Abdullah in the spring of 2007 at the Qadmiya Women's Prison in Baghdad. She'd already been on death row for two years and she was terrified. <laughs> Samar was sentenced to death by hanging for being an accessory to the murder of three members of her uncle's family. But now, Samar is in a place that brings death a step closer. On the other side of this door is the corridor that leads towards the cells here at Baghdad's maximum security facility. There are more than 500 prisoners who have been brought here waiting to be executed. We are not allowed to film anything outside of this room. <laughs> Once her life had meaning and joy. She had a fiance safe. <laughs> but she says one day safe took her to her wealthy uncle's house. He shot three members of her family, including her cousin. And then, she says, Saif turned the gun on her. Her parents swear she's innocent. They say the Iraqi police picked her up the next day after Saif dumped her in front of their house and disappeared. The Ministry of Justice maintains that the judicial system is, quote, fair and just. But even as grave doubts surface about many convictions in Iraq, there are signs that the pace of executions is picking up. In July, two women were reported executed. Betrayed by the man she loved and by a judicial system that is about to send her to her death. Arwa Damon, CNN, Baghdad. Her case has many human rights organizations questioning the fairness of Iraqi's judicial system.